Good morning. I saw this meme this morning. It says April Fool's Day is cancelled this year because no made up prank could match the unbelievable shit going on in the world right now. <laughs> I agree. Here's some examples. Uh, the Italian government they are now mandating all healthcare workers to take the shot because there were so many who didn't want it. That's, that's why. So they said, now you have to take it or, or you will not get paid. Yeah, it's true, this is what they said. You have to take the shot or you will not get paid. Seems wrong somehow, doesn't it? There must be some law protecting these people. If they don't want to take the shot, they shouldn't have to. Crazy stuff. So, you know, they are forced to take a shot which might kill them or they will not get paid. Wow. You know, they in Italy it's a tradition. Not li they don't like the shots in general in Italy. Uh, it's been like this for a long time, and especially now with this new thing, this new shot, which could actually kill you. Uh, uh, then I saw this woman, uh, she's a teacher in the United States. She did a video and she was very upset. She was holding up two band-aids in front of the camera. Yeah, And you say, she said, what skin color are these? What skin color are these? Oh, they were white, yeah? And she says, when I give a white band-aid to a brown child, I'm adding insult to injury. And I refuse to do that in my classroom. This is what she said. So, it's about color, you know. I got very curious. What is it like? to live a life like this when you are constantly looking for these things. Well, the band-aid is supposed to stop the bleeding, but it should be the right color or it's racist, really, right? So I decided to try it. You know, I wanted to know what it was like. So I started to look for different colors around me and then I saw a black car, you see? And I thought, yeah, there's another black car, right? A lot of them around. And I started to feel offended. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then uh, this one, you know, the, the immune system. Bill Gates and his friends. You know, they want to replace the immune system. They want to cancel the immune system. It, it never existed, it seems, yeah? So they have, people have to come to them if they want an immune system. This is total madness and it's, of course, total evil. Yeah. This is what they are actually doing. And the first priority is to isolate people. And this is what happens. If you isolate people, if you don't have any human interaction, your immune, sy immune system will just go away. <laughs> yeah, there will be no immune system. So they, this is what they are doing. And then they come with their immune system in a needle. Yeah, right there. Here it is. This is the immune system from now on. Wow. Okay. So today is Sunday. I saw yesterday, Saturday was a lot. There was a lot of protests around the world. Fantastic. Seems like Saturday is becoming the protest, the day of protest. Yeah. I was watching uh, footage from Toronto, beautiful London, Romania. You see. So this is great. What well, this is the answer, isn't it? Yeah, this is what I think. This is the only answer to this madness. People uniting. And this is what I see is happening. People uniting. I see unity. This is brilliant. Yeah, that's the answer. And, of course, 
information. We need to spread the information about what's going on. There are still lots of people who don't have a clue about what's happening right now. So they need to know, they need to be told. Right.